Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions as we are considering loving God with all of our minds. And I am so glad you're joining us today as we're looking at passages of Scripture that remind us about what are we setting our minds on? What are you setting your mind on? I'm so thankful that you're joining me today to consider this. Because I don't know about you, but there's a lot of times when I uh, wake up with my mind just racing. You know, the, the monkey mind that goes on sometimes. And I just have to get up and get going for the day in such a way that I am setting, resetting my mind on the things that matter most. And so today we're going to be looking at the um, letter to the Colossians, uh, chapter Three, and we're going to be reading verses 1 through 3 from the Common English Bible. Listen to these words um, and think about what are you setting your mind on. Therefore, if you were raised with Christ, look for the things that are above, where Christ is sitting at God's right side. Think about the things above and not things on earth. You died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Wow. So, if you've been raised with Christ, what does that mean? Well, that means that we've embraced the resurrection life. We've embraced that this life, evil in the world, will not have victory over us. And I don't know about you, but for me, if this is a great word of hope, that I can set my mind on the things above. Now, it doesn't mean I'm just setting my life on in, so heavenly minded that I'm no earthly good. But when you and I set our mind on the things above, we are reminded of what matters most. And that is the life that Christ holds out to us. The way that Christ has shown us to live a life of love and service to all people. We don't exclude others. We, instead, we embrace all people. Um, a few weeks ago, I had a real honor. I was um, looking at a post of one of my former congregants on Facebook, and they were talking about how they felt, um, they, were, they were saying that when they went to the church I was serving at the time, that they felt God's welcome and unconditional love and grace. And my prayer is that every single person that I have the opportunity to meet today will, will feel that grace and love and acceptance that God offers has offered to me and calls me to offer to others. If I can set my mind on that, that covers a whole lot of other stuff. Amen? It means that when I'm tempted to be less than generous with others, that I remember that I too have been raised with Christ and that I'm called to live that life with others. So what will you set your mind on today? Will you set your mind on the things above? Or will you allow yourself to be captured by all the other stuff that vies for our attention and destruction? You know, I'm, I'm, I I'm really do believe that loving God with our minds means setting our minds on the things above. So, will you pray with me today as we offer ourselves to God and we seek the things that are above? Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we give you our thanks for this day, a day in which we have challenges in our lives. Our, our, we may be being pulled in so many different directions. And so, right now, right at this moment, help us to set our mind on the things above. Your grace, your love, your resurrection, 
and move within our lives in such a way that we might be a representation of that in the world. With our families, with our co-workers, with our friends, with those that we meet on the streets, with those who may not be loving to us at all, help us, O oh God, to be your presence of love and grace for all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.